Hi there, Scorpio. I'm Jennifer Angel, and these are your stars for October. Now, with your month ahead, you have a lot going on this month, so there's not much time to sit back and think through your next move, which is great for you because, you know, you like to sort of go by the seat of your pants a little bit anyway, and you're able to do that. So you will have to rely a certain amount on the information that comes from other people as well. So make sure you're doing business with those people that you've grown to trust, um, that you have faith in. Couple that with your own uh, research and intuition and uh, you'll have no problems. Now, with on a professional note, career and money, you need to be careful over the remainder of this year that you focus on the things that are going to bring you the best return. And if you can do that, you'll set the foundations for future work to follow, okay? Very important because you can get distracted easily. There's so much going on. So be careful of wasting time on projects that look good but are not necessarily going anywhere, okay? Now, on a personal note, love and romance, with love planets Venus and Mars in your sign. It's a recipe for love, romance, passion, throwing a little bit of lust as well, okay? So early in the month, Venus and Mars connect and literally just sends electric bolts of love your way. So um, Venus and Mars are like the yin and yang of love. Uh, Mars is the male side and Venus is the female side, so it's like a perfect match. So if you're single, it'll be almost impossible to resist someone's attention over this month. However, be mindful that Venus does go retrograde, which is, let's say, out of phase on the 8th. Now couple this with communication planet Mercury opposing Uranus, the planet of sudden change, also affecting your love scene. And an electric vibe can quickly turn, let's say, from irresistible to irritating. Okay, so practice being tolerant. Don't over overreact. Easier said than done, I know, but um, if you can do that, get through any little periods like that, then uh, any relationship you've got will be stronger in the long run. Now, your best day for October, your divining day, let's say, defining day, October 17. Now, around this time, it's like an aha moment, to quote Oprah, with the sun and Mercury, um, can bring clarity that's needed for you to move forward. It's like it helps you just sort everything out. You wake up in the morning and all of a sudden it's clear and you know exactly what to do, okay? Um, great things happening for you. I hope you enjoy the month. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next month. Bye.